there is a lot of garbage cards in Hearthstone. Why Blizzard don't buff them? Why giving us all these bad cards? And they are waste of space and design instead of giving us good cards. And why Blizzard nerf the card to the ground when they do that? In this series, I will be answering all of these questions and why I think they do that and what are the other options. So stay tuned. Now today we are talking about why Blizzard don't buff bad cards. So there is a lot of unused card and consider a really bad cards, especially in the classic set. Blizzard don't buff and nobody is playing them like they are not exist. For example, an elven archer is the one one that deal one damage. This is a card that is rarely used maybe in when we player start a game and it have a lot it's considered bad because like a lot of classes can already deal one damage with their hero power and that one one is not that big deal and also it's take a card slot on your deck and in the draw so that's why the cards consider bad. But we are not here to talk about this. We are here to talk about why Blizzard don't do anything to buff it. And the truth is there is multiple reasons for doing that. Now, first is a card, when a card is buffed, this is, will not affect only the card, it also will affect other cards in the set. And there are two types of effect. The first type is card that do similar, similar thing, and the second is card that interact with it. So for example, if we are still staying at the same example, Elf Elven Archer. So maybe a Blizzard will buff Elven Archer by one attack or one health, which is do not seem that a big deal for you. But when you do that, maybe cards like uh, Mortal Coin and cards that shave become considered a bad card because this is summoning a 1-2 monster or a 2-1 monster or, and they will replace elven archer with it so this card will be considered bad because elven archer took their place so at that moment people will start complaining why like card like Mortal Coin or Shiv are a bad card and they should be buffed. And this keep continue to a lot of cards. Let's say there is another card like when you compare it to the one mana minions. There are some cards that deal like um, Lepernum. So it deal two damage to the enemy's face, and it's a two. It's a one one. So if Elven Archer become a two one and deal one damage, whatever you want, this will become a really good card, and Lepernum will become a really bad card. So people will want Lepernum to be buffed at that time. This is the first 
aspect to the card effect and the second thing is card interaction there are some good cards in Hearthstone but when introducing a new card they become even better sometimes broken for example execute if elven archer is so good by itself execute will become even better because you will use elven archer already in your deck and execute like it has no condition and this is actually happened when they introduce new cards that deal one damage to the field execute becomes so good that hearthstone have to nerf it and make it two mana and there is all and these are simple cards i am not talking about the complex interaction this is why hearthstone do not buff bad cards and now we go to the second reason some people would say like it's okay to if they keep like buffing cards uh, till they get the right balance like League of Legends do with their champion they increase the attack and buffing and nerf a monster uh, champion till they get the monster to the right spot but there is another reason the second reason is the limited resource in, in Hearthstone the player can only get a specific amount of dust so if he is not buying the free to play if he is not buying with real cash if they keep buffing and nerfing cards that means the deck will keep changing which means he will not be able to craft like one strong deck every expansion and keep playing that deck because it's the good deck that he has it's the only competitive deck that he has and instead he has to have a large collection so every time they nerf and buff cards a new deck will rise and he will be able to play it and this is problematic for uh, itself because a new player will have a hard time into catching up to the game which means Hearthstone at that time have to redesign the resource system and the quest and the amount of gold giving to the new player the next thing is um, the team work in Hearthstone if they keep buffing and nerfing cards that means they will have to really keep studying this effect and a lot of the member have to be detected into uh, which card should we nerf and which card should we buff plus all the negativity will be getting because they keep buffing cards and that means less content and with game like Hearthstone, there is no content the game die. Like every time before the expansion, for one month of the new expansion, the game, playing the game become so dull because it's like these two deck or three deck and no one playing any other thing, no one even trying any other thing because he will get crushed by, by these best three deck in the meta at that time till the new card come out and the last reason is the health and the mana cost the health of the champion and the mana cost are fixed so buffing any early cards 
it almost like nursing the hero health because if the early cards are good this will create a real big problem that control deck will not will never be there and this is why hearthstone have a problem with the aggro deck because uh, you, they can play this early monster and they are out of card but they are you are out of life point at that time and even if they create some good area removal still you are losing like 60 or 70 percent against aggro because you need to draw it at the right time but they are on the other side all the good one and two and three drop in their deck and they are playing zoo or something like that or a face deck at that time it become a problem if they keep being buffing cards because that means they need to buff the hero's health and buffing the hero's health create another problem and you see this how uh, how this thing keep continue like if they buff the hero's health some card would be overpowered or some card would be bad because of that like if they make it 40 because it set your health to 15 so they should make it 20 if they make 20 maybe Alexas will become really good against aggro uh, as good as Reno maybe and this is the problem so that's why they don't buff and nerf cards no, the Hearthstone team always I, I don't say uh, uh, this is from my perspective why I think they, they did that now I think there is another way of approaching this problem but Hearthstone will never take it because it's already been a few years and I do not think they will change to a system like that the, the idea is allowing the player to receive a large amount of cards and a higher resource and ability to gain card more easily but they will nerf and buff the card till we get till they get the right uh, track to it.